We are here today to honor the class of 2020. I am the class president of STEM Academy, and it is my honor to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony of STEM and Chester High's class of 2020. Distinguidas autoridades educativas que nos honran con su presencia. Respetables invitados de honor, padres de familia y alumnos graduados. El personal directivo de la clase graduanda del 2020 se complace a través de mí, el vicepresidente, en darle la más cordial bienvenida a esta ceremonia de graduación, misma que marca el final de un largo viaje lleno de tribulancias y incertidumbres, pero lo hemos finalizado con éxito. Personalmente quiero agradecerle a todos aquel que formó parte de este largo viaje y desearle a todos mis compañeros la mejor de la suerte en la próxima etapa de este viaje. Muchas gracias y felicidades a la clase graduanda. Hello, my name is DeAsia Walker, class president of Chester High School's 2020 graduating class. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to take the time to expend a extend a special thank you to Ms. Pearl Cameron, Ms. Nikita George, Ms. Shannon Matthews, Dr. Hamer, Dr. Jackie Irvin, Alicia Stewart, Karen Mia, Ma Karen Maya, Matthew Krause, Jean Arnold, Tammy and Tarita Morris, Corey Long, friends and, and also the friends and family and Chester High School's faculty. Also, the Chester High School alumni for their various acts of kindness during our challenging senior year. On a personal note, I'd like to thank my astound astoundingly supportive family. I am who I am today because of your effort, guidance, and great encouragement. With the struggles of the passing of my father this past year, my entire immediate family has done nothing but push forward for me to become who I am today. Next, I know and understand the meaning of C-Pride. Despite the odds that I face, I have been able to overcome by being resilient and dedicated to having a great education. Last, class of 2020, my classmates, we all carry C-Pride. As a class, we all have had obstacles and challenges that led up to this point today. Today, we are here graduating and ready to take on the next level. This is our, this is our season and time to make changes in the world. Thank you. Dear class of 2020, I am delighted to congratulate you and your families on your high school graduation. Your class is a history-making group as you are the first class of high school seniors to complete your senior year online and remotely due to a pandemic. I commend all of you on your determination and resiliency. Despite the quick and sudden need to shift educational environments and platforms, 
all of you stayed the course. You demonstrated the desire to continue your studies and graduate on time. As you move forward in your future endeavors, you will experience a variety of challenges. However, you have demonstrated that you can be flexible and adjust as necessary. Many of you employed lessons that you learned as early as kindergarten to excel in school over the years. Those same lessons, although simplistic, are the time-tested tools that will forever remain relevant in your lives. While I am sure that many of you are acutely aware of the many injustices that exist in the world, please never doubt your ability to make a difference. With a positive attitude, resolute determination, discipline of the mind, and many of the life lessons you learned as early as kindergarten, you will excel and make your community a better place to live. Class of 2020, may you always reflect upon your high school years with pride and remember the valuable lessons learned from your teachers, school staff, and classmates. I wish you great success in all of your future endeavors. Thank you. Congratulations to the Chester Upland School District Class of 2020. This is a huge day for you, and I could not be more proud and excited to celebrate with you as your superintendent and now receiver for the last three and one half years. While we do not have the experience of being in a large facility surrounded by classmates, teachers, friends, and family, you will have them with you today just as they have been throughout your entire journey from kindergarten to a high school graduate. Your class, the class of 2020, is graduating in unprecedented times, being in the midst of a pandemic, social unrest, and social injustice. But we are counting on you. We are counting on you to be strong, to be wise, and to be thoughtful as you begin the next phase of your life. May God bless each and every one of you. Good evening, uh, class of 2020. This is uh, Anthony Johnson, school board president. On behalf of the uh, local school board, congratulations uh, uh, through this tough time in 2020, through the pandemic and through uh, the George Floyd. Uh, incident and uh, the crisis all over the, um, the country. Uh, hopefully, uh, this is a wake-up call for you guys in um, the class of 2020 um, to always talk uh, truth to power. Um, that's a lesson that um, hopefully you guys will uh, bring into um, fruition and um, move uh, this community, our community forward with positivity. Um, Black Lives Matter um, it, it is a good fight, but black on black crime is a serious uh, uh, crime too. Um, that's something that hopefully uh, 2020 you guys become leaders and we can uh, solve that issue. That's the biggest issue in our community, not uh, racism, but black on black crime. Um, hopefully, and I'm talking about Chester, uh, uh, specifically, um, you guys can be the leaders and solve this uh, beef and, and the beefs in, in, in our community uh, so we can move forward. So congratulations and, and, and all what you do in, in your life, always fight the power. All right, thank you. Greetings, Chester High School graduating class of 2020. This is your deputy mayor of the city of Chester, William Morgan. First, I hope you and your families are safe through the difficult times we've all had to endure. And if there's anything we've learned through this unprecedented time is that the class of 2020 is strong, resourceful, deserving, informed, and of course, graduating. Now let's be clear, graduating is an amazing accomplishment 
but it's just another chapter in the book where you're the author in. In this class, we have tons of nexus. The next doctor, the next lawyer, the next entrepreneur, the next public official, and so many more impactful careers. You are the future, the change the community looks for, the change the nation is screaming for. Remember, someone else's success does not define your own. Rather than compete with others in your class, share and support one another. Send job postings, acknowledgments, and check in with each other when possible. Community is about building one another up and sharing the wealth. Your turn is now. And the last device I'll leave you with is ABP. Always be prepared. When an opportunity presents itself, be sure to grasp it and don't let anyone discourage your dreams, goals, or aspirations. The road will be rocky and there will be people that will tell you that there is something that you cannot do. And when you do it, they'll say it was luck. Unless you do it again, and they'll say it was your genes. But if you do it again, you show them that your spirit is stronger than their words. And yes, we all know that that Chester spirit is very strong. So on behalf of Chester City's mayor and council, we love you, we appreciate you, we'll be watching you, and again, congratulations to the Chester High School graduating class of 2020. For the culture, salute. Hey, Chester High class of 2020, Attorney General Josh Shapiro here. Look, we are looking to you, this next generation, to help steer us through so many of these big challenges. Not just this coronavirus pandemic, but here's the thing, you're the generation that's been battling on the front lines, leading the way on important things like gun violence in our schools and climate change and all of the pressures surrounding social media. So thank you in advance for all that you'll do and a hearty congratulations from your attorney general. Thank you. Hi, right, this is State Representative Brian Kirkland, and I just wanted to take an opportunity to congratulate the class of 2020 I know these are hard times with not being able to have our traditional ceremony, but you made it. Be proud of yourself. Um, continue to strive to be the best that you can be, um, whether it's if you're moving into a certain career or you're going off to college. Continue to set goals and continue to bring the best out of yourself. Um, once again, congratulations and have a safe summer. Um, enjoy this day. Enjoy this moment. And God bless you all. Greetings. I am Dr. Jason Hamer, Principal of STEM Academy. Congratulations to the class of 2020. What a school year this has been. Back in March, on Friday the 13th, might I add, not too many of us thought it would be the last time we would all be able to learn together under one roof. Due to the 2020 COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic, your senior year ended unexpectedly and abruptly. For almost three months, you all were forced to learn in completely different ways than you have ever been asked to learn before. Welcome to your first life lesson. As an adult, things don't always go as planned. Notwithstanding, you all have stayed the course and excelled under one of the most difficult circumstances of our lifetime. Whether in a physical classroom or online, you all were able to meet and master extreme challenges with both tenacity and fortitude. With everything going on in the world today, from a global pandemic to longstanding social and racial inequities that people are now demanding be addressed, you all have the ability to make an impactful change on this world. Each and every single one of you graduating today are special. Whether you realize it or not, you all are part of a chosen generation, the class of 2020. Your graduation marks 20 years into the new millennium, a millennium of social awakening. You all are Generation Z, and you have the power in a markedly different way than any other generation prior to affect change like this world has never seen before. As a member of this new digital generation, I want you to all remember that the power is literally in your hands. Remember, class of 2020, there is nothing more silent than yesterday's applause. So don't stop now. 
you are just beginning. The work is yet to be done. Congratulations again, class of 2020, signing off, your principal, Dr. Hamer. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is your commencement and you earn your diploma through hard work and dedication. Today is your day, but tomorrow is the time to stand with so many graduates and make decisions that will affect the rest of your life. The class of 2020 is important to this country. The class was met, was met with adversity due to COVID-19. You had to make adjustments caused by unforeseeable circumstances, by entering into remote learning and practicing social distance. During the time teachers provided life, live and ongoing support, counselors and climate managers constantly pushed to encourage you through under, uncharted waters. As a class, you bonded together by creative and establishing a senior chat group in order to support each other. The year 2020 will definitely be recorded in historical events due to COVID-19 and injustice of African Americans. You learned real life issues that affected our black communities, such as poor access to medical care and the injustice that has been silenced through systemic practices of oppression. Both of these issues are real world problems that require change and solutions in order to have equality. The class of 2020, as you continue post-secondary education or enter into the workforce, take your place in society to be educated, informed, and knowledgeable about type and the level of work that needs to make change in our communities. Next, have voice and question who wants your, about who wants your vote. Make sure their agendas are aligned and committed to speak up and advocate for your community and the people. Participate in organizations on college campus or in the community to help bring reform on humanitarian issues and social injustice. The year, 2020, has shown us thousands of young people want to be heard. You showed the country and world we will and shall be heard. Now you are heard. This is your time, class of 2020, to make the mark in the world to productively and strategically make social change on injustice. Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it. You are officially graduates of the Orange and Black, the powerful Chester High School. You have persevered through a quarantine, attending classes online, overcoming obstacles, dealing with heartaches and tragedies, facing breakups and breakdowns, difficult classes and tests. But guess what? You got it done. Whether you realize it or not, you are not just a survivor, a person who has just coped with the situation and kept going. No, my friend, you are an overcomer, one who succeeds in gaining control of some problem or difficulty. The things that you overcame to get you here today were strategically placed in your life to get you to the next level. Now that you are entering into a new chapter in your lives, let me give you five pieces of advice. One, never let anyone discount your worth and make you feel less than the powerful men and women you are. Be confident in the fact that you are enough. Eleanor Roosevelt said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Therefore, be consistent and maintain your confidence because no one is better than you. Two, you have a voice, so use it. In these times of unrest and senseless murders, stand up for what is right. Speak out against the injustices that are coming against our brothers and sisters of color. And don't forget to vote on election day. Not only do black lives matter, but your voice matters. Three, don't let others count you out because of where you come from. People will judge you because of your home address. Let them, because guess what? At the end of the day, it's what you believe about yourself that counts. Steve Maraboli said, don't count me out. I have been built and strengthened by life's battles. When you think I'm tired, I'm just getting started. When you think I'm dead, that's when I'm most alive. Four, 
Don't count you out. Don't allow any past mistakes to dictate your future and define who you are as a person. Continue to keep moving forward and keep these things that are in your past, keep them in your rear view mirror. This will keep you focused on your goals. And number five, don't stop dreaming. Follow your dreams, pursue your passion, be the architect of your future. Harriet Tubman said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. According to Wikipedia, Harriet Tubman was born into slavery, escaped, and subsequently made some 13 missions to rescue approximately 70 enslaved people, including family and friends. She went from being a slave who was hunted by slave owners and dogs to having her likeness being considered by the U.S. Treasury Department to be put on the $20 bill. Harriet Tubman, my friends, was an overcomer. So class of 2020, each and every one of you are overcomers and world changers. That is why it is imperative for you to remember that you are enough. Your voices matter. Don't let others count you out. Don't count yourself out and don't stop dreaming. Why? because you are the Clippers, the mighty, mighty Clippers. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'll see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded. Hello, my fellow classmates. Today is a special day in our lives. We only arrived here four years ago and it is time, now time to leave. It has been a journey and challenges and some success, but everything we have triumphed, we became stronger. We have excelled in both curricular and co-curricular activities. Our basketball team made it to state regional playoffs, placing our school in a public limelight. Throughout our stay here, our unity and love for each other has kept us moving, and there are traits we should continue in our next stage of life. I want to remind you that we are victorious. We have worked hard and made this day a reality. You have gone through it and have graduated from Chester High School. President Obama also noted that we should expect the unexpected. This is true because COVID-19 pandemic has disturbed everything. It is a reality that we have expect and have to live with. We have always remained strong and nothing will weigh us down. Our community has suffered several traumas when we lost four students from our high school. I know all of us were affected by this experience. We must know that the test of our lives re reveal our willpower. In an article Burns 2019 states that life is full of struggles, but all these give us opportunities to remain stronger. We will succeed due to the power of love and friendships we have with one another and throughout our school and community. It is a great opportunity to have each one of us in this journey, and I hope in the future we have a lot of promises for ourselves and this community. Congratulations to my fellow graduates. Wherever we go, let us continue to unite and always be friends. Good morning, students, staff, and families. My name is Merve Badu, and I am the salutatorian of the STEM Academy graduating class of 2020. To my fellow peers, after four years of hardship and many challenges faced, we can finally say we made it. It wasn't easy, but we made it. There were many obstacles, but we're still standing here today, graduating like the strong young adults ready to face the real world that we are. To all the teachers I've encountered throughout this journey, thank you for teaching me the things I know today. Your job is not easy, and you are appreciated for everything you do. I would like to thank Ms. Ross for being like a second mother to me and pushing me to not give up. Mr. Stipples for sponsoring my payment for this year's college tour. 
my sister-in-law who has done nothing but push and motivate me to do everything I had to do. Most importantly, thank you to my parents for always making me and my education a priority. Seeing myself grow from the little terrified girl that I was six years ago when I was moving from Benin, Africa to America to the young woman that I've become today, I can honestly say that I'm proud of every little step that has led me here. I saw myself go from a little girl afraid of others not liking her and not doing things for herself to becoming a real go-getter and setting to reach my goals no matter what obstacles I face. I can say that I have grown in many ways. Six years ago, I spoke no English at all. Six years ago, I spoke no English at all, and I struggled to even get one sentence out. And now I can't believe I'm standing here giving a whole speech in front of you guys. It wasn't easy at all. I did get bullied, I did get made fun of, and I did face many other challenges. Especially this last year, with everything getting canceled, losing motivation to continue, but still having to finish dual enrollment and high school classes in order to have a strong finish and make my parents and siblings proud of who I've become as an individual. This year has pushed our buttons, but we have pushed right back and ended it with a big victory and joy. I'm part of all of my fellow graduates for not giving up, and I know the future has many great things in store for us. So let's reach out and get it. Good morning, staff, faculty, and fellow classmates. After a long four years, we finally are here. We made it to the finish line. Regardless of our circumstances, today is a special day for all of us. As it marks the beginning of a new start, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kareem Quaita and I am honored standing here before you as valedictorian. I still remember the first day I walked into Chester High School as a 14-year-old. Nervous, I barely knew anyone. Everything looked so different. Coming from a smaller school, Chester High School was definitely not my niche. Everything looked so different. But I adapted. I would have never imagined as a 14-year-old boy, today I would be the valedictorian. From the minute I stepped into Chester High School, I knew that I was attending the school for a reason. And the reason was to further my education and grow as a person. While attending Chester High School, I chose the path of hard work, dedicated my time and energy towards schoolwork, often missing out on social events, gatherings, and other activities to better myself academically. I made educa my education my first priority, staying focused and removing any distractions that came my way. I was able to do what many are not able to do. I was able to rise above negativity, no matter how negative the situation is. There's always something positive that can be taken from the situation. The negative situations are what motivated me to, to, to do better. The people who said I can't made me say I can. I knew I could and I knew I had to. I had hope in myself. I believed in myself. I could go on and on about all the sacrifices I made to become valedictorian and the methods I used in order to keep my grades exemplary. Mary. But I would rather leave you all with a message. I want my fellow classmates to know if I can do it, you can do it too. Achieve academic success is not just by completing assignments on time, studying. You have to want it for yourself. You have to be obsessed with wanting better for yourself. You have to make that a dream. Don't fall victim to the circumstances. A person may be stereotyped by their height, weight, race, family, but at the end of the day, only their personal ethic efforts is what matter. Your efforts is what pays the bill, it's not anyone's opinions. I'm a first generation American. My whole life my parents have drilled in my head that the key to success is education. My parents came from a country with many dreams and one of them was for me and my siblings to excel academically. I'm proud to say to that today one of their dreams have come true. First and foremost, I would like to thank God for giving me life. I would like to thank the staff and faculty and my fellow classmates for making Chester High memorable. I would like to thank my parents who are the reason I am here today. 
and who has always made education a priority in their lives. My sister, who has always been an exemplary role model. My teachers who believed in me and the ones who didn't. My teachers have helped me in many more ways than I can explain. There are too many to list, but please know that I appreciate each and every one of your efforts. This event could not have been possible without you. Thank you. Good afternoon, family, friends, and fellow graduates. Today is a day to be thankful and to be inspired. My fellow graduates, the class of 2020 is unique. Graduates before us have not been through what our senior year has brought us, from COVID-19 to doing school online, to protests and unrest across the country. It seems each month brought a new challenge, but we made it and we're still here. I want you to know what a great gift it is to be as prepared as we are in spite of the challenges of our senior year. This year, we have learned lessons that books cannot teach us. The experiences of our senior year have taught us the life skills of innovation, resilience, and determination. Because of the pandemic, we've been unable to celebrate most of our senior activities, such as prom, our senior trip, or our class photos. We've been forced to stay home, unable to see our friends, and required to complete our classes online. But we figured out a way to celebrate our success through video chats and use of technology. The tragic death of George Floyd and the corruption and racism in our country and trusted officials have shown us that change needs to be made. We can't live our lives in fear and uncertainty. It's up to our generation and those who come after us to be determined and committed to stand up and speak for what we believe in and to fight for our rights and our freedom. This year has taught us that we cannot give up. Yes, our senior year has been quite a year. We've had to adapt to the fast-paced world around us, and even though a lot of us have experienced unexplainable pain through these years, we've come out stronger, smarter, and more prepared than ever to face this world head-on. We are at the beginning of a new decade. My fellow graduates, you and I have the power to change this world. We should be thankful for our families. These past four years have presented us with lots of ups and downs, and it is good to know that we've had our families in our corner, supporting us along the way. I'd like to personally thank my mom and dad. I would not be here today without you. You've supported each and every step throughout this journey and had my back even when things became tough. And to our teachers and school staff who've inspired and worked with us to help us all see what we can become and do in this world, I say thank you. Finally, we can be thankful for each other. The friendships that we have made here will last a lifetime in the same way that we have supported each other and helped each other succeed through these years. I hope you will continue to provide support and encouragement for others in future endeavors. Class of 2020, we are ready to rewrite history. Greetings, I am Anaya Wesley, STEM Academy's Class of 2020 valedictorian. Welcome again, teachers, administrators, friends, and family. Before I go any further, I would like to thank all of you who made this day happen and everyone who supported me throughout my high school journey. Philadelphia rapper Meek Mill once said, work harder than anybody you've ever seen. That's what I believe. In life, I learned that everyone has their own path to success. And if you look at other success as motivation, you will be blessed in the end. Four years ago, I made a promise to myself to stay on top of my game because I know if I wanted to succeed in life, I had to put in hard work and dedication. These are the reasons why I stand before you today as valedictorian because I believed in myself and continuously prayed. There were many times when I wanted to throw in the towel when the work got too hard for me, but I conquered my fears and used my knowledge to the best of my ability. Our year ended unexpectedly, but I would like to say congratulations to the class of 2020 because we finally made it. Graduating from high school is a huge milestone, but it doesn't stop here. It's not about where you start, it's about how you finish. Whether it's a trade school, college, military, or a passion you have for something, go for it and become the best version of yourself. When you believe in yourself, nobody can count you out because that's not who you're doing it for. Set goals, set visions, and manifest what you desire. We are about to enter a new chapter in our lives, and I'm not saying it will be easy, but stand on all 10. 
The world is bigger than the city you come from. Your worth is bigger than what you settled for. Your dreams are worth chasing. Don't live in doubt, live in confidence. We are more than a product of our environment. So all the graduates, good luck with these next chapters in your life. Go out into the world and make history. Within your heart, you'll know that no one can change the path that you must go. Believe what you feel and know you're right because the time will come. When you say it's yours, believe that you can go on, believe you can float on air, then click your heels three times if you believe, then you'll be there. start. Believe in the magic right there in your heart. Believe all these things, not because I told you to. So believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Just believe Kareem Koita. Anaya Wesley. Makaya Potik. Merve Badu. Deasia Walker. Madison Rivas. Edgar O. Baez Diaz. Layla Hall. Silver Jackson. Christopher Miller. Patrick Shaw.
Amira Roberts. Rafiq Hilliard. Carter. Madison Hahn. Daquan Baker. Kayla Cross. Kayla Stewart. Rajana Allen Holmes. Shaw. Maya Redfern. McKenna Lynn Henry. Khalil Miner. Deshauna Madison Middleton. Derek Mayran. Janessa Rivera. Salim Allen. Makai Thomas. Tamia Cotman. Jackson. Michael Strand. Jodelis. Torres Perales. Richard Buford Bright. Malaysia.
Asia Bird. Micaiah Sterling. Nazir Gordine. Jasmine Johnson. Jalen Hall Tamai Brown Keith Miner. Manier Randolph. Jada Henson Rakesha Anderson Janaya Nicole Barnes. Gianna Barnett. Pedro Cabasa Myria Freeman Jennings Marquan Rogers
Jalil Ferguson. Jihad Denson. Chanel Saunders. Kevin Carter. Take one. 
Sean Briggs. Kristen Briscoe. Jaquan Brown. Daviana, Christina, Sheila, Butler. Destiny, Arroyo, Hill. Amira Thomas. Anissa Barksdale. Dear Bay Brian Bowler. Daquan Bridgman. Jordan Smith. Denasia Abili. Damon Campbell. Deja Campbell. De 
Deontay Campbell. Breon Carter. Elijah Carter. Sean Carter. Tyler Chambers. David Cobb. Janai Coleman. Kaysan de Graffenreed. Brian Cujo Pablo Khalif Edwards Akima Evans. Felicia Plesma. Giara Franklin. Tatiana Franklin. Bubakar Diallo. Alio Diallo. Zamir Carroll. Janai Davis.
Davis. Deshaun Fattrell. Steve Galindo. Micah Gardner. Siani Zamora Gathers. Rami Gilbert. Ahmad Granger. Renasia Green. Ajay Greer. Najee Harper. Shakir Henry. Jawan Henson. Jordan Henson. Damir Hill. Davon Hill. Zahir Hill. Jaheem Hunter. Omar Hunt. Jasanti Ingram. Ola Lekan Itabi. Manasia Jackson. Kwame Jacobs. Glenn 
Malice Martinez. Jemaya John. Jalen Johnson. Alasia John. Kyrie Johnson. Maurice Johnson. Darnell Jones. Tiffany Jones. Zion Kamara. Ibrahim Kamara. Malik Langley. Jason Lawler. Shania Lawrence. Sky Lockett. Talisha Diaz. Maharam Madia. Julia Lane. Jameer Lee. Rydi Maltzby. Ray 
Raymond McCaskill. Helena McKnight. Japria McMillan. Andrew Melvin. Murray Tamaya Murray Benaja Mitchell Myers Lamaya Naylor Journey Neal Bayaja Nelson Hakeem Nichols Jaheem Nicholson Joshua Nuevez Yerman Felix Jose Pabon Lopez Tiana Johnson Jamel Neal Brianna Powers
Raekwon Raisin. Cameron Seipel. Devin Pullman. Leonardo Ramirez. Yadira Ramirez. Elias Ramos. Tamir Reese. Adira Robinson. Alvin Sanchez. Michael Shockley. Mercedes Simmons. Khalid Smith. Sergeant Jamar Pettiford Alasia Moon Desiree Smith. Tracy Phillips.
Destiny Smith. Raekwon Smith. Anisha Valdez. Kevin Vigia. Edwin Villa Lobos. Martiasia Thomas. Donnell White. Tayshawn Walls. Asia Warren Jordan Works. Aisha Williams. Akeem Taylor. Damir Stevenson. Moriel Tillman. Kalila Griffin. Terrell Whitehurst. Kamira 
Watkins. Renee Tomaze. Essence White. Rashawn Johnson. Brian Wright Jr. Michaela Glover. Daquan Williams. Ayana Wilson. Jonesha Womack. Seven, Reed Selby. Ishad Motsby. Sky Thomas. Caprice Staples. Christian Crawford. Khalif 
Thomas. Cameron Whitfield. Devon Bell Jackson. Rashawn Hunt. Nadia Young. Jania Naylor. Asia Moore Hello, my Chester family. It's Avery Sunshine and my husband, Dana Big Jane Johnson. We want to congratulate the class of 2020 Chester High School. We want you to know we are proud of you. We love you. And we just want to give you a little encouragement, especially now, not to be afraid. Uh, and, and whatever you're going to do, just go ahead and do it and believe you were created for just that. Hey, you only get one shot at this. Don't worry if you hit or miss. Go ahead and take the risk and see how it turns out sing if you got a song to sing jump so you can test your wings see what this life has to bring i know it will work don't be afraid of what this life has to bring i know you can do your thing don't be afraid of what this life has to bring I know you can do your thing, oh, oh, yeah, hey, oh, yeah, hey, hey, in life you'll have some ups and downs, don't let that keep you on the ground, there are treasures to be found, nothing can hold you down. Go ahead and run your race Don't let nothing slow your pace Come on, there's no time to waste I know it will Don't be afraid Of what this life has to bring I know you can do your thing Don't be afraid Of what this life has to bring I know you can do your thing Listen, hey, if you got some moves and make them if you got some chances then take them if you're bound by chains and break them you know it's your time to shine hey if you got some moves and make them if you got some chances then take them if you're bound by chains and break them you know it's your time to shine hey don't be afraid you've got everything you need inside What this life has to bring yeah. I know you can do your thing Don't be Afraid of what this life has to bring I know you can do your thing
sing oh hey hey oh yeah hey oh yeah hey hey one more time Y'all keep shining. Mwah! Congratulations, Chester Upland School District Class of 2020.